Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and today we're gonna show you what not to buy. Now if that's not a reason enough to subscribe to our channel if you're not already, then seriously reconsider subscribing because we're not afraid to go out on a limb and help save you guys a few bucks. Now, if you're like us, you've seen this on the shelf at Walmart. Anybody, no matter how much you dislike that store or love it, you've been there and you've seen this on the shelf. Uh, this at Walmart is something like $160. $60. Mm -hmm. uh, we found it for about $140 on their website, Calibri or whatever that is, and then Amazon had it for about $130. So we grabbed it on Amazon just so we could show you guys this drone because I'm sure a ton of people have bought this because it's a Walmart. And it's a really popular style drone too. Yes. That you can get for way cheaper. Yes. Some of the first drones that came out on the market was about this style. They had this basic little cheap, cheap frame with a basic little cheap, cheap camera. This little like tin foil is stronger than this plastic shield. And then they have really weak little arms and they protect it with this big shell. The only difference in this one is that it has a neat little Calibri bird on it with the uh, army green collar. Now I love the army green collar. That's the only thing they got right on this Calibri drone. is like a, the smallest gun cartridge or something like that I read on Wikipedia. Cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, so the drone itself is a very generic design. There's nothing special about this at all. The transmitter is set up to hold your phone, although Abby's phone, which is an iPhone 6S Plus, does not fit in here in its case. Altitude hold drone, it does have a camera, and hey, to justify that hundred extra dollars, we got a nice little second battery going on. So if you're like me and you like to pay a hundred dollars for a battery that's worth about two dollars and fifty cents, you'll buy this. But guys, before you click away, up here in the right corner, we yeah. link awesome drones that we would recommend for you. And I may just try to find some cheaper drones with this same body style to link in the description box for you too. So click, right. if you're on your phone, click that little triangle right below our video. So we work really hard. Well, I work really hard. On the description I'm probably going to do this description box. So <laughs> click it and look at it. <laughs> it does have four spare props, four spare little baby gears, and here is the the USB charger that comes with this to, to charge your battery and uh, it does come with its own micro SD card I think it's four gigs yeah four gigs and a little USB card converter so, so I think with this setup you could justify maybe like $75 we're thinking best case scenario like if it works really really well if everything works 75 bucks yeah. Did you say something about that sun case right there? Oh uh, no, the I do shield. need to show that, but it's useless. That's because... a sun shield that's supposed to go over your phone, but we're not gonna use it. Um, it just installs right here, nice and simple. Yep. There, so your phone would be like, have a little protection. But phones. not if you have a giant megaphone. Yeah, so like mine, Mega. like, how would that even, is that for like iPod touches? They don't even, the iPod Nanos. Oh, if you if you have bought this or you bought this for anyone else, this is a big, just a big mistake. Never buy anything like drone stuff at Walmart or any really, JCPenney's or in stores. You're, it's just a bad idea. It's a gamble and you're probably overpaying. Um, hobby stores are fine. Go with a hobby store. But just like just, a legit hobby store. Yeah. Not yeah. a tourist hobby store. Yeah. Uh, so we've seen those before too. Don't. Just don't do this stuff. We still, we're still gonna fly this for you, but it's so important that you guys hear me. I wanna really emphasize, uh, just just don't buy the stuff from Walmart. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's put this in the air and see how bad it does. All right, you have to plug the drone in, then set it on a flat level surface, then turn your transmitter on, throttle up, throttle down, and that's how you bind. Um, there's no on off switch on the drone. Then you go to your settings in your phone, connect to its Wi-Fi, go over to the app, which it has a QR code that you can scan and connect it. We're gonna hit auto take off. You're not filming yet. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Hit the video button. There's no video button on the transmitter. It's really weird that it comes with a memory card and it has the Wi-Fi. Agreed. It's not saving to my phone though, so hopefully it's saving to the memory card. And there's no... Um, indicator on the camera. There's no indicator on the camera or the drone. There's no indicator, there's no button on the transmitter that says... So oh, you would so. think for 130 to $160 they could put a light to tell you that you were filming. And on the app it says it's filming, but who knows? Who knows if it's actually saving. Okay, now as far as the Wi-Fi signal goes, um, this was a very generic app that we downloaded. Uh, we've seen this on tons of other drones. It's not like a unique 
proprietary app or anything. They did not take the time to design their own app for a $160 drone yeah. and you think they'd have a unique app. I've and downloaded that particular app like a bazillion times. Super laggy FPV. It's totally unusable while you're flying. It's so laggy that I'm really struggling even at this distance and uh, looking at a lot of ground. So let's see if I can, I'm actually going to try to tilt the camera up some, so I'm going to fly in a little closer and we'll see if we can tilt the camera up. So bear with me. I want to give you guys actually a usable shot. We're trying to give it a fair chance. Yeah. Holding throttle down. There we go. That's as far up as it'll go. What so, it was? Yeah, so you're just gonna be looking at the ground the whole time, no matter what. So let's go ahead and auto take off again. We'll test all the features because I know this is gonna be a very short lived battery. Comes with two, so you can automatically double the flight time yeah. with whatever this one gets. We will not be showing it with a second battery though. Nope. Uh, so let's do a flip. Lost. A little altitude but not anything crazy for the size of drone that was a pretty good flip just to be honest we'll drive one more flip i'll go front flip on this one it has well there it lost a good bit it has to climb and then do the flip and then it loses some and it bounces back up to where it went where it was hovering to begin with i do like the army green a lot that is probably the first drone i've ever seen with that kind of army green color and it's not exactly army green but it's really close that's what they're going for though oh well, let's see we have rates on the box it says live streaming but i didn't see anywhere in the app where you could live stream by live stream they mean live viewing and that or... is live yeah you can't live stream okay like to YouTube or something like like they, they like they're Facebook saying Facebook live stream because and stuff. the Mavic and other DJI products have live can streaming live stream. to Facebook and stuff thousand dollar drone this is one this is like one ninth the price of a Mavic so you're getting awfully close to Mavic <laughs> okay uh, we should have a headless mode double a price and you can almost get a spark we're in headless mode and it's actually working really well I can honestly say I'm giving it full yaw and push it away push it to the right with full yaw Pushing to the left with full yaw, and it's working perfectly. Headless mode could not be any better. So good job on headless mode for this drone. Then we have a return to home to, uh, no we don't, we do not have return to home on this one. We have an auto land, I can press that, and it goes down. This is totally it, I'm, not, I'm steering it, but I'm not landing it, so I'm helping it steer down. And then the motors should turn off uh. here. There we go. I'm still, I still They're have control. Still on. There we go. Now I'm going to press the same button, get it back in the air. Auto takeoff. Auto takeoff. Good. The altitude hold works very nicely on this. Uh, overall, guys, I mean, let's, I'm just trying to be super honest with you. It's a decent drone, okay? If this was a $50 drone, I'd say home run. Grab it. Great little drone to fly around and play with. But this is not a $50 drone. This is a $160 drone. There's a lot of companies that have been popping up recently that are trying to take these generic drones, put a new body color on them, and charge double, if not triple, the price for them. Yeah. Uh, and that's not cool in our opinion. Not and we all. are not afraid to call them out on it. And I just hope that somebody out there decides to watch this video before they pick this up off the shelf and not after. Walmart. A lot of times what happens is a little kid is going to open this drone on Christmas because their grandma or grandpa spent a lot of money spent on it. Spent a lot of money. Hey, oh wow, a $150 drone. It must be a really nice drone. You get what you pay for, right? Not always. You could easily find the same drone for half the price on one of the other reviews that we've done on some of the websites that we feature. So, you know, I mean, and even on just the same website, Amazon, you know, you can find just as good of a drone for half the price, maybe even a third of the price. I'm gonna land it and let Abby fly it. So we're on like a four minute flight time. I'm gonna stop filming in hopes that it saves. Okay. And we're off. The auto takeoff works pretty well. It's a good size drone. Orientation's pretty easy because That's of the headlight. Like it's very responsive. Yeah, it is I responsive. Do like that headlight. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I hate altitude hold drones. Why is that? Because it like fights it. Yeah, you have less control, like actual control over the drone. It's not like a race drone or anything. The yaw on this is super flippant. It's not real. Okay. 
Good hover. Maybe try adjusting the rates. You didn't do anything. Look at an indicator. It's mode mode one, 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 mode two. Okay, so you probably have two different rates. It's not switching the actual modes. But it says 50% on the screen. That's your throttle. So, can you tell a difference in mode one and mode two? I don't know what I was flying in the beginning. Uh oh. Uh, low battery beep. Oh, look, they're pulling a tree on the That's good. center with a yellow light. Was that there before? It was there before. Oh. <laughs> That's your power Never. light. <laughs> so, the beeping is low battery, correct? I'm guessing, yeah. Time to land then. I didn't hit anything. Yeah, okay. I'd say that's a low battery beep, which is nice. The lights aren't blinking. <clears throat> then why would it be beeping? Are you in a headless mode or something? It didn't beep when I was in headless mode. I think it's a low battery. Now, it, now the, light, the lights just flash. Well, okay. No, maybe that's because I hit headless mode. I don't think the lights on the drone are going to blink. I think that the beeping is your indicator for low battery. Well, so that was like, what, a seven, six mm, minutes? Maybe six, six minutes, minutes, yeah. Is that you landing? That's me, yeah. Okay. Yeah. With two batteries, you get a 12 minute flight time. But six you minutes each. charge each battery and remove the battery. And you know, it's, it's not the same really. Uh, the beeping was a low battery indicator. A drone that we featured probably two to three years ago on our channel that was all black, a version of this it had the same thing. So that telemetry in this drone is not a new thing at all. It also came with two batteries, and I think it was about $100. This one's $160. It was like two or three years ago. The point of this video, uh, you know, we, we do a lot of things where we find, hey, that's a good deal. Hey, this would be a good gift thing. You know, check, check it out. Uh, we do a lot of trucks and stuff, but it's not every day that we go to Walmart and pick up something that we see at Walmart. So the point of this video is to show you guys that the stuff that they have on store shelves at JCPenney's and Elder Beerman's and Walmart and those stores should never, ever, 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 ever for any reason be purchased unless you just have an endless amount of money and you don't care what you buy. Uh, does it work overall? Yeah, it does. The altitude hold worked just fine. We'll see about the camera. The camera Eric, you, you all already know at this point. Right. Uh, but for now, we don't at the time of filming this. Um, the flips work pretty well. It functions okay, but it's just a matter of, do you want to pay $2 for a loaf of bread or $30 for a loaf of bread? If you can afford the $30 loaf of bread, good for you, but most of us can't. So don't waste your money on the $160 drone. Subscribe to our channel and we'll show you some $50 drones that do the same thing. We also do cover nice expensive drones that are worth their money. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, check this stuff out. We'll save you guys some money, show you some stuff to add to your wish list, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.